Is it beautiful sweatshirt weather? Time to get the pumpkins out, cozy up weather? Or is it spooky weather? Ghostly time. <laughs> hey, it's Kara. Welcome to my tick at the lake. If you've known me for five minutes, you know the answer is both because I want it all, all the time. I don't like choices. If there's a whole bunch of goodies, I want them all. So I'm bringing you a Halloween kit. Also, if you've been around here for five minutes or more, you know that generally I'm late to the party because a lot of the people already, oh my God, are doing their Christmas crap. Are you effing kidding me? Are you kidding me? Halloween isn't even here yet. Not even here yet. All the stores have their Christmas stuff out. It's no wonder everyone feels this huge time pressure and everyone's under stress because they can't keep up, can't keep up. Well, good God, if we're working months in advance and ignoring right now, it's beautiful right now. The leaves are falling right now, finally. Fall is upon us. Let's enjoy it for a moment, shall we? And prepare for the upcoming Halloween season. It's not here yet. It's not over yet. So frankly, we're just in time. Oh, I made a new Halloween kit. As you know, I have a really cool one on my Etsy shop. I've mentioned it in a previous video. I will link that below because it's a little bit different than this one. That one's all pretty spooky, kind of dark, very dark. If you, It's pretty cool. I love it. But it's in my closet and I can't get even to my closet to dig it out. So I made a new one. And I mentioned in the other video, I, I briefly showed what it's gonna look like. It's a mini kit because we are getting late in the season and Halloween is fast approaching. Uh, and this is the ink saver version. You'll notice there's quite a bit of difference between what this looks like and what that looks like. I have a regular bright full color option and an ink saver option. And I'll explain the difference here in just a few minutes. And I'm going to have another giveaway. It's a super simple one this time around. So stay tuned for that, for the rules of that. This is inspired, this kit is inspired by Kia at Kia Create. I'll link her channel below. She has this fabulous Halloween fall challenge. And I love the way she set it up. She has options as to how to do it. Where most challenges you know, it's one a day for seven days or one every day for 30 days or 100 days or whatever the challenge. And and you roll with, with that sort of rule. Well, Kia's is daytime options, fall, cozy, light, bright, happy, safe, <laughs> fall options. And then she has evening, nighttime, what's your Halloween and spooky and haunted and horror and that kind of thing and you can you can do one or the other or both you can do both prompts every day or a couple of prompts every couple of days i mean she's got it set up so brilliantly and i like i, I always love a good mini you know i like tiny tiny little things last year's halloween giveaway was a mini journal that you could make and give away you could make dozens and dozens of them pretty quickly because they were tear fold staple and dawn and they were so fun but that was teeny tiny this is a little bit bigger but it's still a mini you know compared to what we normally do what my plan for this video was was to have this journal completely made for you so i could show you what my my ideas are uh, life has not allowed me to do that so you're getting the pieces and parts and I'm going to continue to work on it and bring you updates as I can but I want you if you want to to go and be able to go and get the kit in plenty of time this kit is only available on my patreon five dollar tier if you want the kit pay the five dollars be a, a patreon member for one month get the kit there's a truckload of stuff that you still have access to for $5. <laughs> One time $5. You can go get truckloads of stuff for free and then get your Halloween kit. And if you want to quit after the five, after the one month, well, that's, that's your call. And I get it either way. If you're jazzed about this kit and both kits are available in the same post, the ink saver version and the bright version, I'll show you both and you can pick. The difference between the two is, I think, pretty obvious. You know, the Ink Saver kit is a lot less vibrant, thereby using a lot less ink. So this is the comparison of the full color versus the Ink Saver of this one. I won't do all of them, but I will do a few so you get 
you get a good idea. Ink saver versus full color. And you can mix and match too. You could put them all in the, in the same journal if you want. But the idea here is you, you print them full size on eight and a half by 11 paper, borderless if you have the option, fold them in half and tear them. And that's all you do. No cutting, no measuring, none of that. And then you fold them together. Now you can mix and match. I kept mine separate because my idea, I want the front to be the fall and then I want to be able to flip it over and have the back be the, the night and the Halloween and the scary. Daytime not scary, dark time scary scary. And so I started with a cereal box. I want to have a decent cover on it. I think uh, I also printed some things on all of my pages are printed on copy paper, just plain copy paper, but these are on a little bit heavier. I won't say cardstock because it's not quite, but these are going to be the signature covers. My original thought was to have them be the cover covers, but they're the same size as my pages and the cover should be a little bit bigger although it's certainly doable you can put it on and then put trim around the where it's too small you it's certainly doable i measured my pages i shouldn't say measured i, I did this and i traced it and i made my cover just a little bit wider and a whisper taller so that the folded pages would fit in there with a little bit of room so that not so that they're not exactly the same because they'll stick out so i made it just a tiny bit bigger and i mean a tiny bit bigger you can hardly see you know it's maybe an eighth of an inch if that and i did score this just to give it a little a little tiny spine rather than just folding folding the cardboard in half i did take it to my scoreboard and it I think that's an eighth of an inch as well. You can, if you want to do that, you can use a three hole pamphlet stitch to sew this in. Or one of my new favorite ways is just tying it in because that is so much simpler. And it's easier to work on the pages. You can take the pages out and work on them individually and flat. This isn't huge, so it'll lay pretty flat anyway. And since it's just one signature, you just take a piece of anything embroidery floss this is baker's twine from the dollar tree and you can just tie this in and once your pages are done and your journal is complete feel free then to tie. sew it in permanent because you you know you may want to rearrange the pages you may you may want to add pages as you go but this is super simple i just tied a super knot super simple knot and that can be all you need to bind it together to to the cover and to the signature and that way if you want to like i said take them out work on the page and then stick them back in you're golden you'll notice too i have some this is amazon packaging that came and it was a really good size so i just tore out some extra pages getting a wee bit ahead of myself but there are lots of options and i because we are coming up on the middle of october and you may still want to do a Halloween. We have lots of fall left, so you may just want to do, you know, print everything twice and you'll have a, a bigger fall book. You can certainly do two separate ones. And rather than what I'm going to do is I have the fall in the front and then the Halloween one at the back. They're each going to have their own cover. Got I haven't gotten that far yet with the second one, but they're each going to have their own cover so that when you look in the back, there's creepy clowns and scary skulls and beautiful lightning purple smoke. Then when you get to the front, there's beautiful fall, fall kinds of things, fall kinds of things. And I love, I love cereal boxes because when you cut them apart to get just this nice, you just cut off all the sides and the tops and the flips and the flaps. There's always the sides that are pre-scored with these little pockets. And these make adorable notebooks. Take all your off cuts, fold, not all your off cuts, but a handful of off cuts. Fold them, staple them, tie them in here however you want. Cover this, paint it. There's all kinds of ways to make these into really cool 
notebooks and what i love about these is because of those folds you can you can glue them up and have a little tuck spot you can glue them and just hide them for extra stability but the way they lay they'll stand up because of those bottom flaps if you don't do anything to them and that's kind of handy to have a little notebook that'll stand there at the ready for you to to jot a note or grab a phone number or whatever you want to do so I love working with cereal boxes. These are not related to my Halloween thing, uh, only because, oh, they're not too much too big. They might be. Maybe I can use them in my Halloween thing. I thought they were gonna be way too big, but they're not. They're just a little bit, just a little bit bigger. So we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. I'll flip you through the kit so you can see all the wonderful yummies that are here for you. We'll start with the beautiful autumn pages. Now again, the Ink Saver kit is exactly the same, and I think the difference would be if you think you have the time to do some serious embellishing and whatnot, these ones that are not as bright would be great just background pages, and then you can embellish like crazy, right? But the brighter ones, if you don't have a lot of time, you can just add a little fall words sentiment, also a kit in my Etsy store, or just a few you know, maybe some gold sticker leaves or a favorite fall poem. It wouldn't take much to embellish such a beautiful page because they're beautiful on their own. So these would work if you're hard pressed for time. Either one would work, but I think these require less embellishing because they're so pretty already. So we'll just do a quick flip of the whole kit because unfortunately on Patreon, I can only put a limited number of photos with the item for sale or the post. So lots and lots of cozy yumminess going on here. Some beautiful fall leaves in the, in the sunshine. I think this is obviously one of my favorites. I'm going to make this the cover of the signature, the cover and the inside cover of the signature. And I was going to put it as the cover of the book. We'll see. Beautiful fall lake scene. Some fall, it's perfect time for indoor games. You can't have a fall book without fall leaves, pumpkins and candles without the spooky both halloween and fall all one kit but they all they both have embellishments of different kinds faux tickets faux washi tape some clip art or some fussy cutting some faux postage stamps more faux washi this could be trim it could be faux washi some fun bunting i have a thing for bunting this year just love it and some more fussy cuts I thought these were fun. Phone backgrounds. What would you take pictures of in the fall? A cute dog with a leaf stuck in his mouth or a beautiful fern that you might have found or a full super harvest moon. These are Polaroids. You can cut these out and then jot a note, you know, like you like old time photo albums always have the date and time that or you know date and place of where the picture was taken again pictures what would you take if you had a polaroid with you out in the fall and then just some pretty little embellishments to get you started you know there's going to be a beastly somewhere in the line books of course a gorgeous owl mushrooms and then some fall words because i don't think i've ever done a kit without any words just Fun stuff. Hello fall, sweater, sweater weather, making memories, hello pumpkin season, warm and cozy. You know, autumn made up of all different colored fall leaves. Home sweet home. It's time to just start cozying in. And that brings us to the second half of the same kit. Again, this is the full color kit. A ghosty in a cornfield and some spooky pumpkins and a spooky house complete with bats and skulls gotta have a full moon on a cemetery oh i just love these pictures something a little lighter fun you know on the lighter side as far as not so scary dark this would be great with black embellishments put cut out some fussy cut bats or put a black cat here somewhere i love that 
spooky house. And this is just smoke and purple and it I could have a whole journal just filled with that. Pumpkins with some creepy cloth and lit candles. And a creepy clown because it is Halloween, you know. Love that. That was gonna that'll be the signature cover for mine. Creepy creepy skull. And here we are to the the fussy cuts part of this. Isn't he wonderful? Faux washi tapes, several of them. Some fun skeletons, complete with their own old tape. Some fun martinis. You gotta have some jack-o'-lanterns. You just gotta. Same thing with the phones, but of course you take different pictures. Oh my god, there's this creepy guy that keeps showing up where I work. Or, my roommate lost her shit last night. She's freaking me out. And, oh my god, the house we're renting. I think there's a ghost. Polaroids, what would you take a Polaroid of at Halloween season? Creepy stuff. He's creepy. I rode on this one into the woods, because that's where he's headed, and he may not come back. These are crescent moons. Kind of fun. Another beastly. Another crescent moon. And the back background pages of these and the other the fall ones also have pretty backgrounds so that what what you cut out here could be used as corner like faux photo corners or if there's a piece that you know maybe cut the whole raven out and you have the the trees in the background and then just give him a branch to stand on uh, so that there's stuff that you can oh one of my little ghosties this one has a Spider, a beautiful spider web background so you could use those that would make beautiful faux washi the pieces that you cut off of here and these Polaroids you can make them three-dimensional and put some stabilo underneath to make them you know give them some depth and make them look heavier you can back them so they are heavier like full pol Polaroids would be and then the creepy Halloween words make your own magic Drink up, witches. You know I love that. Spooky. Spider webs. Just a little baddie. Happy Halloween with some spider webs. Horror. Scary. Happy Halloween. So the idea behind this kit is that, yep, we're getting late in the season. And yep, there's a whole bunch of Halloween challenges out there, not just Kia's. I'm going to do Kia's because I like the light and the dark. And because she inspired this light and dark Halloween kit, I'm going to... I am going to do that challenge in my own way. She has people doing uh, videos every day of the, of the month. And I'll probably go back and watch it after the fact. I like to do my own thing and then see what everybody else did and use those ideas to make my own the next time versus seeing what someone else did and then doing it and seeing what someone else did and then doing it. I just don't like to work that way, but I will go back and watch them all because I love to see what other people did with the same prompts. That's the whole idea between Amy at Doki Doki Forest and my using the same images, open collaboration. What are you doing with the same exact things? It's so much fun, so I will go back and watch for sure. But I wanted to bring you this video, even though mine isn't done yet, because life, you know, it just doesn't always happen the way we hope or plan, but that doesn't mean we can't do it. Just because it is October 8, 9, 10, 11 when you're seeing this, doesn't mean you can't make a Halloween journal. I wanted to make it as easy and fast for you. So everything you need, really, you have words, washi tape, fussy cut, you have everything you need in this kit to make it make a little fun journal. It doesn't have to have bells and whistles. It doesn't have to have a thousand dollars worth of Tim Holtz metallic implements on it or metallic charms or it doesn't need any of that. You just need to play. You need some scissors, some glue, and a printer, and some string, and you're good to go. So even though I'm not where I want to be, I want you to know that this kit is now available Again, only on my Patreon. It's only on the $5 tier. It's not in the shop. 
it's not on Etsy. It's only on my Patreon $5 tier. And again, you don't, you don't have to stay the whole month, but you may as well stay for the month and get, a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of digital kits. There's a lot of freebies there. So go make yourself at home. Uh, last year I did a virtual trick or treat hop. I'm not doing that again this year. I may do it next year. So this is, this is it for me for Halloween this year. I hope that you get it. But when you go to Patreon and if you get the, the kit, just give a little emoji or a little thumbs up or something so that I know somebody has been there. And I mentioned that I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, anyone who makes a comment, I, sh I should say any subscriber who makes a comment because a full 76% of the people who are watching this month are not subscribed. And my goal is to have 5,000 subscribers by Christmas. I think if everyone watching actually subscribed, I could be at 5,000 by Halloween. <laughs> that would be awesome. So make sure you're subscribed. And yes, I can check that. And leave a comment on this video. Leave a comment below. I love the kit. This is fun. Happy Halloween. Headed to Patreon. It doesn't have to be a huge comment. But those are the people, subscribers, who leave a comment. I will do a random comment picker and do a prize and I will give the I will give the prize winner a couple of options as far as what they want for a prize they'll get to pick their prize this time usually I pick it but I'll I'll have a few options and the person who wins it will get the prize because I like giving stuff away go to my patreon you'll see I like giving stuff away there's a truckload there for free you don't have to be a free member. You don't even. You don't have to be a paid member. It's there. Some of it is free to the public, but I would ask the fee of a comment, just so I know you've been there. Have fun with whatever you're doing this fall. Enjoy it. Enjoy the season where we are right now. Have some pumpkin pie spice lattes if you like those. Get some maple syrup and put it in your coffee. Go to the pumpkin patch and get cider donuts and some mulled cider or fresh cider that you can mull at home. Enjoy today. Enjoy this season because the next one's going to be here in the blink of an eye. And at Christmas, they're going to be doing Easter. Slow that shit down. Go love up your beastlies. Have a wonderful, fabulous, beautiful, spellbound day. Give your beastlies lots of cookies and treats that are good for them. Because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring.